Hello, I'm John Aldridge and I'm watching the Redman TV. Thing. Um, okay then, we move on from pictures of the week. Uh, we've got Swansea City at the weekend, Chris. Mm. Um, now, a week ago, we were talking about what great form we were in in the league. We were excellent at Anfield, West Brom coming. Let's just get, let's just steamroll with them. Get the Swan, monkey off the back. As get well. the monkey off the back of the top ten case. Then you know we've got the, the Europa League, and then we come to face Swansea. And by the end of that, we'll be looking to reel Everton in and, 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 and cement a sixth place. However, um, didn't quite go to plan at West Brom. No. So how are you feeling? coming up against a side that are, by all accounts, probably still technically super... Going back to the Celtic picture, bra brown trousers time. <laughs> no, no, we don't use fake expressions on this show. Have a word with yourself, sunshine. I'm sorry. In fact, I'm going to... I might that. Um, no, uh, well, you've answered that well enough. Terry, um it shows you how far we've fallen and you've got time when you're thinking about playing Swansea. <laughs> it's like, isn't it just? Isn't it just? <laughs> no, it's right though, isn't it? But the thing is, of course, is that we we know Swansea. I mean, Swansea, we're aping their style of football this season. We're trying to put into practice what they had going for them last year, and they've continued it this year. Except technically, they they're doing a much better job of it this year as well. Yeah, I'd say so, definitely. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Brown so, brown, yeah. Brown this is not good. This, come on, come on, Dad. Spin it. Put a positive spin on it for me. <laughs> Try. <laughs> Dear God, well, I said last week the Swansea was going to be the toughest of the two games. Yeah, yeah. Um, not making this any better, John. <laughs> no, no, dig up, they, please. They played us in the League Cup and totally outplayed us by hitting us on the break, which is exactly what happened to us against Villa and against West Brom last night. So. Clearly, it's going to be a tough game, but you know you've got to learn your lessons, haven't you? And uh, hopefully, we've had a practice run now against West Brom. We'll be a bit better. I think that the the one saving grace that might be Chris is that West Brom play very pragmatically in that game. And do I mean I I've not watched the vast amount of Swansea. Do they have the ability to? Do they have that level of pragmatism? Will they be able to? Not play, care of their natural instincts to just play their their game and their system. I think they'll come and they'll play their game. To be honest with you, I think they'll probably look at it and think we're a better team than Liverpool, and we don't have to. Whereas West Brom might have looked at it the other way and gone, let's mm. sit back because mm. Liverpool are a better side than us. Mm. Uh, I think that's what we've got going for us. To be honest, that hopefully it'll be a bit of a. Um, We've we've got, fest almost. What we've got going for us is they're a better side than us and they're going to come and try and, and, and batter us like you yeah, know. I'm not, I'm not what a wonderful, what a wonderful world we live in where we're basically well, hoping it's yeah. West, West Brom already had three points off us so if they'd have ended up with four that would have been a good return for them. Yeah, no, no more stuff. <coughs> Swansea, they, they got a point from us. Well, we, we took a point from them at Swansea and we should actually have won the game because of that disallowed goal. Um, so maybe Swansea, you know, are going to approach it in a different way, and maybe they think, you know, they, they do need to get more out of it than just a draw. I think there's, a, I think there's a case, and we've said this time and time again, and it's not just, uh, not just something that goes that happens from this season. We go back years. Is that I always fancy us against teams that come to Anfield and try to play a bit of football. Yeah. I mean, look up, look up. Okay, we didn't, you know, this, we've maybe not done it as convincingly, consistently this season, but we've definitely, we've certainly gotten better at it. You know, we, we turned over Norwich, we turned over Fulham, we turned over Wigan. Was it, was it, yeah, I mean, we only beat Red and one nil, but we we got we got the job done. Now, Swansea are probably well, Swansea are no probably about it in a better class than the teams we've beaten so far. But as you pointed out, you know, because we've got this top ten curse that we, we, we should like to mention. If we're to have any ambitions of finishing higher up the league than ninth, you have to go and beat Swansea City. You have to beat the teams around you and they're one of them, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's that simple, like. We will have storage back, hopefully, yeah. for that game and we can go back to playing the new system with yeah. actually forwards. The, the, the interesting, dynamic, exciting, attacking force as opposed to Playing Suarez on his own and going, yeah. just can't. Yeah, to have someone on the pitch who will pick up chances that get dropped by keepers and you know, or has pace to, to go back. Hey, centre forward. <laughs> God, yeah, I know. But yeah, um, just a quick look at, at Swansea. Obviously, uh, the two places above us in the Premier League, which is mildly devastating, but only a point in it. So obviously, it could all could all change come the end of the play on Sunday. Three o'clock kickoff on a Sunday, which is just weird. Very weird, not televised, obviously. <clears throat> so if you want to get it on a dodgy stream, 
go for it. We'll 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 be there. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit better, as I say, than the. West Brom experience on Monday night. Uh, of course, you'll know a little bit more, as we always say, with the wonderful well filming on a Tuesday night. We've got Zenit and Petersburg to come before then, so you'll have a better idea of who's who's playing well, who's informing, who's not. So let us know your your lineup predictions, of course. Um, Chris, looking at the form guide, I mean, much like the league position itself. Swansea not in not in Swansea and us both not in particularly great form. We're tenth in the form table at the moment. Swansea two again two places above us. They've taken nine uh, from the last eighteen. We've taken eight from that. So much of a muchness really. Although they're away form again not great. Although that being said, West Brom's away form was fucking abysmal, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. This is a bad show. This is really bad. I hope you're drinking while you're watching this to really sort of take I the edge off. Was it Alan Parry who was the commentator last night and he said something about it? He happens to have taken one point in the last uh, eight albums or was it or something like that. Yeah. I just knew then that we were going to get taken. Well, we, we said this last week. We made all these bold sort of 3 0, 4 0, 5 0 predictions, but we also said. They've taken a point away from home out of 18. We've been in good form at home. We, got, we had like the second best home form in the league. So they were bound to win it, weren't they? You know what I mean? It's just sad, but those seem to be, time and time again, the sort of little stories that surround Well, every time we play, we should throw the form book out the window. Yeah. Yes. Not just against Everton and Man United and Chelsea. If only it was a, 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 a literal thing as opposed to a figurative thing and you could actually just do that. Right, this week, lads, we're actually throwing the form book out the window. Does form actually exist? Uh, uh, Asaidi, Asaidi, you're not doing anything, mate. Yeah, just go and take that out the window yeah. for us, will you, mate? Take that out the tip. Yeah. Uh, there's a shout. Oh, Sam Asaidi, will he get? Will he? Will he get a game? Do you no. No. <laughs> Not a chance in hell. What? What the hell has happened to him? Like? I mean, whatever we do, I hope we just go at them rather than mm. last night. We seem to take ages to get going. Didn't yeah. It? We were and too respectful in that really, first half. I think. It was really quiet. That was the worst atmosphere, yeah. and, and, and I, I, I can think of. And the worst thing is, it's not the worst atmosphere. It's the worst atmosphere ever. But it's only as bad. It's only worse than the last home game you know not knowledge but the last time we were shit the Aston Villa atmosphere for example you know what I mean we, we keep topping our worst atmosphere this season I don't know what the answer I think the answer to that is probably go out and smashing Swansea City off the you pitch you to start with high tempo and get the crowd going yeah. I think that's it you can't afford to be caught cold in this game can you um, again Chris we, we, we talked about this whether we whether we figure and we put out a strong side against Zenit, whether we'd, we'd, we'd favour Europa over the Premier League. Let's, for the sake of argument, let's say we're favouring the Premier League. Based on the performance against West Brom, and, and, and on, on the other hand, let's hope Daniel Sturridge is fit. Um, would you go with the same start 11 that we went with uh, against Man City, was it? With, the, with Sturridge, Suarez, Downing up front. Oh. I think the only thing that Rodgers might do differently is I think he might bring Alan back into the fold for this game just because he knows them so well. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I personally would go with the start and 11 and start against City. Lucas, Gerrard, Henderson midfield. A back four, Carragher and Agger. Agger's big, a big question mark. If it was me, I'd go Carragher and Skate or maybe, or see how, if we play out on Thursday, I don't know. The worry we have that with the centre-back pairings is that we, we've proven over the years Skirtle and Carragher doesn't work as a centre-back part, pairing because Skirtle can't play the left side and neither can... It's not a good balance particularly, is it? Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, Skirtle's almost bound to play in... Uh, One of the two. Mm-hmm. And I therefore don't think he'll play yeah. on Sunday. It's interesting because why my thinking was going to be, and again, you, you've seen Zenit and this might be a bit of a fucking pointless argument for, for you, but we're going to do it nonetheless because... Um, is that I almost guaranteed that Skirtle and Coates would probably have played against Zenit but Agger's form says to, would say to me well does Skirtle deserve to come in for the next league game and therefore do you play Agger in, Agger in Europe or does Jamie Carragher just being your only in form centre half at 35 years old in his last season before retiring bit of a worry do you just Play him? Do you just keep Carrigan and Carrigan in the think, side? I mean, Zenith is going to be a defensive night, isn't it? We're going to be under the cosh, I reckon. And it's the perfect opportunity, I would have thought, for Skirtle and Agger to try and get themselves back together. Yeah. You know, where they spend all night defending <coughs> and not just it sporadically. I mean, last night they didn't have any defending to do, did they? Yeah. And then when it came to it, Agger failed. Yeah. You know. <laughs> 
epically, as the kids but, would yeah, say. So let, let's see how they do when they're under the cosh for 90 minutes. No, I think I think that's I think it's a very, a very interesting point. Uh, interesting point. Just what I want to talk, touch on briefly, Terry. Um, We've got some very sort of miserable Reds at the minute, you know, a lot of a lot of bitter Reds out there getting a bit wound up about our our play. By contrast, you just look at the Swansea fans. It just looks like they're enjoying every single second of it at the moment, and it's almost like now I know we've got the weight of heritage and expectation behind us, but it, it, I think it's really refreshing to see a team coming up like that. They're playing good football, and they're clearly, as I say, enjoying enjoying the ride. Yeah, well, I mean, it, I mean, most of their fans are two three years ago you know they said they did they'd be in like a top 10 never mind like you know uh, surviving they'd have been happy in the championship oh, let alone let yeah. alone trailblazing in the premier yeah, league in the premier league you know that so they've got every right to be happy haven't they you know <laughs> No, it's interesting for you. Let, let us know your thoughts on on, on Swansea City. I mean, I mean, I I got sort of caught up. I got I got a lot of abuse on the on the, the first uh, one of these shows uh, earlier in the season for saying that they hadn't improved in the last Um The reason they've improved I, fundamentally is is a little man called and meet you. And when I say a little man, a not so little man up front, he's been. I mean, talk about two million pounds. Proof that value for money because exists in football still. It does, and it, you know, it's, it's not the only one that, that's done that. Newcastle with Denver Bar proved that value for yeah. money exists. It does exist if you go out there and, and find it and take a punt. I think a lot of the times. You know. Do you think it's easier for though in, in those situations though when you when there's the, there's far less expectations there. They just be happy to have him in, whereas there's just so much weight that just comes with putting on a Liverpool shirt that maybe he might not have come in and done the same thing had we bought him in the summer. The fans probably are more willing to back somebody like that at Swansea than at Liverpool. Because if Liverpool sign a centre forward for two million, we're probably thinking he's a bench player. And if he does get the start, you're thinking, well, why haven't we heard of him? He's probably not going to be good enough. Yeah. It's all perspective, isn't it? And it's why they're enjoying themselves because eighth, ninth in the Premier League to them is fantastic. To us, perspective, it's not. Yeah. It's not great. You come in and score five goals. You're a cult hero, and you're yeah. forever. You're ever in a club of Swansea stature, and with all with the greatest of respect, you're you're, you're you're a cult legend forever. Whereas you come in and score five goals for them, they'll be like, why have you scored ten? Rafa used to do things like that, but didn't he? Bought players we never heard of, who turned out to be like Xabi Alonso and mm-hmm. Louis Garcia. Yeah. Came and gave us great service, and yeah. uh, did he? No, I don't think quite at that low end of the market yeah. though. For two million quid, we ended up with. I was about to say, uh, if, uh, if, we, if we were linked with somebody who was like in the two million brackets, but uh, like me too, uh, that we, we wouldn't stay two million long when Liverpool's yeah, name would be linked. Yeah, no, I think that's, no. A, that's a great point. So, so yeah, even when you're talking like five, six million for Garcia, yeah, that was probably a three million pound signing that Liverpool yeah. came in and the price yeah. went up. Like. Yeah, I suppose yeah. by inflation, yeah. by inflation, that's actually twenty million pounds. Now we're, we're, for Garcia. we're not in for a lot of players because they're not they're too too old for us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which you know we've sort of limited the market ourselves. Mm-hmm. Maybe I think it'll be interesting to see how we fare in the summer with that. But let's just have a quick look at me too. Then he's got fifteen goals this season, which is absolutely outstanding. Uh, he's got a shooting accuracy of four. 47% chance conversion of 24% uh, and a clear cut chance conversion rate of 58%. So, in a, in a way, Chris, Magnanos. No, that's not the right word at all. That doesn't mean what you think it means. Uh, it just, but if, if he created, if he created 15 goals, maybe like, you know, uh, yeah. Magnificent? That's the one. Why not go with that? Magnificent. Not? Okay, here's a challenge for you at home. I've <laughs> lost Dave. Um, here's a challenge for you at home. Do a better job than Chris. Meet you in one word if you will please in the comments below if you're watching on YouTube. Um, if you're not, if you're watching it uh, on subscribe show, tweet us at the Red Men TV and at Mr. Blood Red oh, as no. well. Some meet you up in one word. Magnanimous. Caring. <laughs> Punctual. <laughs> oh belter. Um okay then, score predictions, gentlemen please dad, start with you. Oh gosh, three one to us. Ooh, Teddy. Two nil to us. Okay, Chris. One all to us. Ouch. Um yo, two 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 one to us. I'll, I'll have a bit of, I'm, I'm all about the two one this week. Keeping it on the d- five nil! <laughs> five nil! <laughs> Why not? 
Um, no, two, two, one. But if it's five nil, I also said five nil. Um, yes, and one last final reminder: we did this on the Zenith and Petersburg build-up show. We've got to the 18th of us in the shorties. Go to shortyawards.com forward slash the Red Men TV. I'm not going to ask you again. This is it. It's done. It's over. Go and vote if you haven't done it. Just do it. Just please, just do it, please. I've been accused of, of, of spending too much time begging, but but fuck right off. Because I also said, look, I want everyone to click the subscribe button, I want everyone to subscribe on YouTube, I want people to subscribe on, on the website as well. But ultimately, you know, much like football clubs, you know, success is defined by the things that you win along the way. This is not an Arsenal show. We don't just want to be settling for being for being like quite popular and doing all right. We want to fucking win stuff as well. I'm not Arsene Wenger. I want to be more and successful and stuff. So go and do it, please, because I can't do it on my own. I can only set up so many so many fake Twitter accounts. <laughs> um, yes, thanks very much for watching. Leave your comments, leave your line up, your score predictions, your sort of a meet you in one word in the comments section underneath. If you're watching this on the subscriber show, we're going to go on to talk about Jamie Carragher is planning to retire, amongst other things, time allowing. Uh, if you're watching this on the, on YouTube, you can watch that on the RedmenTV.com. Subscribe now uh, and you get free for a month. Try it out if you think it's shit. Cancel it. Yada yada yada. Gentlemen, we move on. Chris. Mm -hmm.